Breaking news. Hey. Revealed. Reverend Father Mbaka visited Buhari with three contracts. Demands for more contracts. Hello, my wonderful people. Today, we kept you up to date when um, Nabini, the National um, Secretary of APC, made a statement that if Father Mbaka speaks any further, it's going to expose him. My dear, the exposure has come. What they were saying, you know, in this life, we need to be careful. Anyone that wants that knows that you live in a glass house, be careful how you throw stones. Be very careful. Now, the self Adambaka, we don't know how true this is, okay, has been coming to Buhari to ask for contracts. And that uh, he came for three contracts and was even asking for more. Is this true or a propaganda? We don't know. Because we've heard from them, and I believe that Father Mbaka will also respond as to if this is true or not. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Breaking news revealed Father Mbaka visits Buhari with three contracts. Demand for more contracts. The Buhari's presidency has released a stunning revelation about his once upon a time friend, Father AGK Mbaka, and why he has abandoned President Muhammad Buhari. In a statement, presidential spokesman Garuba Shewu suggested that Mbaka has joined the Buhari's ship because Buhari turned him down, and so he has joined the anti Buhari's campaign. When he visited him, demanding for contracts which Buhari turned down, Shewu did not state exactly when Mbaka made the visit. But he said the man came with three contracts. But on the day in question, Shewu said Mbaka demanded for contracts. Father Mbaka asked for a meeting. And to the shock of presidential aid, he came accompanied by three contractors. The president graciously allowed them in. And to everyone's surprise, Father Mbaka asked for contracts as compensation for his support to Buhari Garuba Shewu said. It was in a way the presidency it was in a way the presidency responds to Baka's denouncement of Buhari as a failed leader. It's just because of the way the presidency responded, we never allowed him to come and infiltrate to bring people who should get contracts or not, who have not gone through the verified process. It's just the way the presidency said. These contractors have to go through the proper route and get the contracts if they are worthy and if they are qualified. That is why he has turned against Buhari nothing more and, and has called Buhari a failed leader. And his apology for backing him up in 2015 and 2019. Mbaka, to the shock of Asso Rock, also called for Buhari's impeachment. Oh, what a man. In response, the presidency has chosen to disrobe him and bring him to the scepter for all to see him naked. He said Mbaka became a Buhari's enemy because Buhari turned down his request for contract. This is what his eating father Mbaka, Garuba Shewu, said about Mbaka's political viewpoint of Buhari now. An outsider disdaining the issue will wonder why he has turned against Buhari will be surprised that after supporting Buhari twice to win the presidency, Father Mbaka has made a complete U-turn, proposing now that Buhari is the devil and needs to resign, almost being peace. Father Mbaka asked for a meeting, and to the shock of presidency when he came, he was heavily accompanied with three contractors. The presidency graciously allowed him in. To everyone's surprise at the meeting, he was demanding for contracts for the contractors. Anyone fam familiar with President Muhammad Buhari knows that he doesn't break the lines or the rules to deal with contracts or any other government business. Mm, story. For that matter, he requested the appropriate authority to deal with the matter in accordance to follow the rule of law. Inside the house, so, uh, inside the villa, discretion were used that if these pictures are requested. We will make them public. The followers and those who came with him. Religious leaders who have been speaking about Muhammad Buhari 
anyone with death will be exposed. Now it is Father Mbaka eating himself up. My people, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Now the presidency is saying that uh, Father Mbaka is against Buhari because Buhari turned him down. Remember, we, put, we I mean, not long ago, a few hours ago, if you have not heard that video, please go to Apple Line Media under videos and hear for yourself where the presidency was saying if, if uh, Padam Baka is not careful, he'll be exposed. My dear, this is what they've got on him. Oh. Yes, this is what they've got on Padam Baka, that he they came to demand for um, contract from President Muhammadu Buhari, and because he did not get the third contract, that's why he's embittered, and that's why he's behaving the way he is right now, not because of anything, not because Buhari offended him. You know, the presidency is citing instances that... A the presidency is suggesting that the same man who supported Buhari in 2015, in 2019, all of a sudden is making a U-turn that Nigerians should think, my dear, this is what is happening. You know? I can't believe it myself that um, the presidency is now saying this is what Padambaka has done. And that's why he's against, you know, Muhammad Buhari. You know, again, we're not going to take it just hook, like, and sinker. No. When you hear a story from one quarter and you go ahead hmm, and make a conclusion, you are not a good person. No, you are not. You are not. You are not a good person. What happens is when you hear something, you 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 take it in. Okay, I've heard. You take it in, then you in, you hear from the other side. It's on the back of hearing from both sides of the tale. Yes, that you can now make a conclusion as to who is right and who is wrong. You don't make a judgment based on one hearing. No, that's not done. You don't do that. You have to hear from both sides. You have to hear from both sides. Then your, your analysis, your conclusion can you know can now make sense and people can ask okay whatever you now decide is after a fair hearing after you have looked at all the pros and cons and everything then nigerians everybody can say yes you have decided well now this is the presidency version with regards to this story we're going to wait diligently to hear from other versions to understand exactly what the issue is at the moment. Because now we've heard from presidency. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.